That's an easy question to answer. I don't have one. And to be perfectly honest, I recommend you don't either. Um, as a rare book dealer, let's just handle the uh, monetary component of it. Um, when you're investing money in books, you want to know what you're getting. And <clears throat> I think, at least that's been my experience in, in what I've looked into in these, a lot of these occult books and grimoires and things um, are not actually what they claim to be. You know, they stitch together a fabricated history and an appeal to a cultural tradition that never actually occurred. Um, you know, just pulling together this and that and that and culturally appropriating things to create these so-called systems of magic and, and alternative religions that are actually not founded on anything at all. Um, <clears throat> you know, basically, to be perfectly honest, I think for, with a lot of these books, you're kind of getting taken for a ride and the uh, authors, editors, and the content itself are just deceptive. Um, there's the moral component to it that I can make as well. Um, you know, obviously, probably the books behind me declare kind of my worldview. Um, but just as this channel is about uh, rare books from the perspective of a dealer, I'll leave it at that. I will say also that the majority of books on um, paranormal and occult and monsters and witches and vampires and all that stuff that are genuinely antiquarian are actually Catholic or Christian polemics against those topics or investigating claims about supposedly real events pertinent to those topics. Um, you know, claims of witchcraft in New England, and then you get a whole bunch of uh, <coughs> uh, theologians publishing on whether or not any of those claims or events even occurred, much less whether or not things were moral or immoral. Uh, so it's kind of interesting. You can, you know, basically put a book that has the word witchcraft on the spine out there on the market, as long as it's from the 1700s, people will buy it like that without ever looking at the fact that it's actually Protestant Christian rhetoric against witchcraft. And they never seem to open the book and figure that out. But by golly, it says witchcraft on the spine and they want that on their shelf. And so that's, that's how that market actually works.